Pablo Gunner here at New Mexico Comic Expo with Hi-Fi Coloring. Yes, well, one of one of the team of Hi-Fi Coloring. Uh, my name is Brian Miller. I founded the studio, and then I work with about four other colorists and a team of flatters. And right now, we're working on a lot of titles for DC and a few other publishers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm used to seeing Hi-Fi in the books, and I'm like, man, this Hi-Fi does so much stuff. <laughs> we I try. Was like, how do they? I was like, how does he do it? And I'm like, oh, it's a team. Okay, so that's why. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what exactly do colorists do? You know, you know what the penciler does. They draw the art. Right. And then the inker goes back over that and makes it really nice for print and adds the thick, thin lines, and it makes it really crisp and beautiful. And then it needs color. So we get the scans of the artwork. Uh, we go into Photoshop, and we lay in the color and the rendering and the light and the shadow and kind of paint it all up as pretty as we can, sometimes add some special effects. And when it's done, we have to make it ready for print, and that's almost like a whole other job is to take what we see on screen and sort of transcribe it into a format that can be printed, and that's almost as tricky as the coloring itself. But when it's all done, we turn it back into the publisher, and they send it off to print. And if we did our job right, the reds are red, and the greens are greens, and not some other crazy colors. OK, cool. So it's not exactly like being a little kid with a coloring book. Well, it's not exactly, but <laughs> that's where my passion started at, for sure, is you know, I had the big, one of those giant, like, three-foot-tall Superman coloring books. Uh. And I just sit there and color on that thing all day. And I think it ignited the spark in me that I wanted to, to work in comics. And I never knew I'd be a colorist, but it, that's kind of what happened. Yeah, it adds so much, so many layers, and I think a lot of people don't understand how much colors add, because until you see the process of, okay, this person adds this, this person adds this, and then you're like, wow, this looks completely different when there are no colors. So much more depth and, and just so much more to it. Thank you. Well, I think that's true. I mean, comics is a collaborative medium, and I think what makes comics amazing is you get the voices of the writer and the penciler and the inker and the colorist and the letter. And when it all comes together, it's sort of, you know, more than the sum of its parts. And as colorists, we get to go in and, you know, if the artist drew a circle in the sky, we know that's the sun. And then we can take that, that cue and add the lighting and the shading and sort of bring it all to life with color a little bit. Okay, cool. So I did some research and found out you had an uh, outreach program. Can you tell us about that? Sure. My wife is an educator, and she also helps run the studio, and so we will visit different schools and colleges, and at Comic-Cons we'll do panels, and just show people behind the scenes um, how it is we use Photoshop to do coloring. And we do that for people who are interested, and also for art students who are maybe thinking about a career in comics or maybe want to make their own comics. Okay, cool. Where can we see your work? Like, in what books and stuff should we check out? Sure. Right now we're coloring a lot of Harley Quinn, a lot of Flash, and quite a bit of Justice League. So those would be the three main titles to check out for okay. high Pies color work. All right, cool. What kind of nerdy things you're into? Oh my gosh, well I'm into all the nerdy things, especially uh, sci-fi, so Doctor Who and Star Wars, a lot of that. All the comic book characters from all the publishers. Definitely the sci-fi stuff for, for sure. The most. I mean, I even have a Star Wars shirt on, so it's, it's kind of my, my number one passion. Yeah, I was like, this guy looks like Matt Smith, you know, with the picture with the bow tie and stuff. And I was like, I was like, that's so cool. I was like, where's his fez? Fezes are cool. <laughs> yeah, but, definitely, yeah. definitely into Who. i uh, done a lot of the covers for the Doctor Who comics, and uh, it's just one of my passions for sure. Okay, cool. Where can we follow your work? Like, Sure, uh, online, so hifidesign.com, that's easy enough. And then on all the social media, it's either under HiFi or HiFi Color. Okay, awesome. Red or green chili? Have you tried it yet? Oh, hey, I've been eating the heck out of some green chilies here <laughs> since I've been in Albuquerque. And some great green chili burgers and some green chili Mexican food. It's been amazing. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure.